What is up guys, it's Maxwell on the road, today once again visiting Clash Warriors, there we go, and we have got a nice random matchup today. So yeah guys, Suomi Cutcat came to play, but they did not quite come close enough. Clash Warriors beating them 82-81. I believe they had an extra, yeah, they had an extra 11, but Suomi Cutcat had an extra 10 or something. Not quite sure. Pretty even breakdown and still Clash Warriors came away with the W. They have beaten some quite uh, well-known clans lately, so that's pretty cool for sure. Um, yeah, we're going to watch a couple nice attacks here as usual, guys. And uh, the first one is going to be by Destroy on number 30. And uh, this is, yeah, the defenses are relatively low still, but the heroes are maxed out at level 30. So not sure why this guy of Suomi Card Kit here is not upgrading the defenses, but uh, somehow he's decided to do that. So yeah, um, that's what we are going to have to work with for now. Um, destroy is gonna funnel a nice kill squad into the base right here uses the rage spell then three baby dragons out of the clan castle has a poison spell gets that one down um, and queen is gonna take those baby dragons out they actually fly out of the poison spell so that's a bit unfortunate king takes a lot of damage pops the king ability last baby dragon is even going to rage and then take a look guys we have got some dragons of his own so uh, golem bola kill squad with uh, with dragons so how should we call this one guys should we call it gobo drag or what what is the name for this i'm not quite sure anyways don't see that too often so definitely pretty interesting obviously trying to get all the air defenses here one of those is actually going to be left standing dragons are going to burn through the queen no problem though so that's good and um, yeah, at this point in time, his queen is actually safe again. She's not taking any damage. And the rage bell is actually going to accelerate the dragons into the base and hopefully have them tank the archer tower. No, they don't tank the archer tower, but queen is actually able to get the last air defense out of the way. With the help of the skelly spell there, cannon is going to get uh, easily taken out by two balloons. And um, yeah, that is... Um, excuse me, guys. Wow. I'm going to have to save the sip here. That's a lot better. That is rip this base. Um, so sort of useful swag on the heal spell there. <laughs> Didn't really need that. So many dragons left. So yeah, very cool attack by destroy. Definitely an interesting troop composition. Up next is number twenty-seven, where we have got bad company, uh, but in this case, um, well, I was going to make a lame joke, but I'm going to save it for now. <laughs> Bad Company is attacking this base with the good old um, Stone Tobo, it looks like. Yeah, um, Troll Tesla there with a giant bomb, so I had to waste a couple of hawks early. Uh, this uh, corner mortar here is also going to get taken out nice and quickly by the Golem. And then the Wizzy's in behind. Looks like he already got one skeleton trap out of the way, so that is definitely going to help him later in the raid. Wizzies are setting the funnel nicely over at 9 o'clock. There goes the entry jump spell. So, um, Bad Company is going with the CC carried uh, spell composition. Straight up two jumps, a rage, a heal, and two poisons. That's all you need. Uh, although he is bringing a giant, so not all uh, hawks and wizards for him. But uh, yeah, pretty similar uh, army composition to the War Wills attacker CC carried, who almost has the 100% hit rate, I believe. So yeah, gets the double poison down, one on the enemy queen, one on the lava pups, just like you are supposed to. And looks like his kill squad is waltzing through this entire base. He could probably swag pretty much all his hawks. He's gonna deploy a few anyways over at the top there with the wizzy tower. Which uh, the giant is actually tanking, so gets the wizard tower, archer tower out of the way. And then deploys some more hawks on the back end. As I said, a bit more patience. And probably could have swagged a lot of those. He's still gonna end up swagging too. Um, or using them, I guess, for, for useful swag there. Wizards come in to clean up, and this base absolutely smashed. Nice overkill here by Bad Company. And, um, yeah, swag queen ability in the back as well, so very nicely done. Next tech, let me check back. Actually, uh, shout out to Zika, of course, once again. Zika has not only invited me over again to Clash Warriors, but also has made, made my job really easy by already picking out the attacks for me. So shout out to him. A very nice job that definitely helps a lot. 
And um, yeah, the t looks like we've got some nice value for the king here. We've got Navy coming in. Uh, also, shout out to Navy. I still know this guy. Uh, I have been in a quote unquote farm clan with him before. That was actually prior to my competitive uh, time inside DLZ. I actually switched to DLZ from the clan that I was in before with uh, Navy here. So definitely some memories there. Nice to see him attacking again. And of course, three starring as well. Suicide Heroes Lalo uh, has gotten the entire Tesla farm out of the way. That is some really nice value. Looks like he's struggling a bit with his loons though. Wow, they are actually gonna uh, reroute this Archer Tower. So nice job, loons. First air defense is tanked by the first hound, of course, looks like there was no black bomb over there or only one or I missed something. Has a skelly spell for enemy queen. Loons are having some nice pathing now, there goes the rage spell and uh, queen is gonna get taken out by that skelly spell and as well as uh, the rage lava hops. Doing some real work over there, there goes the last haste spell, there goes the heal spell. Uh, has one heal spell left for the top and uh, wizard towers there with the two archer towers as well. He's going to be facing the sweeper for this attack, so this could be an internal eternal raid here. Um, <laughs> yeah, if he does not get the sweeper, nice heal spell, uh, saving all of those balloons. Where the lava hound comes over to the wizard actually, and the lava pups are on his uh, back end as well, so they are probably going to take out the lava hound, which is a bit unfortunate, but that's the way it goes sometimes. Um, triggers a nice red bomb there on the outside with only that one balloon. Also does some tanking for the last Wizzy Tower. And then his loons are going to be able to overwhelm the rest of the space. Uh, the enemy Lava Pups have come out, so that's a little bit of a worry. They are probably going to kill a lot of balloons over here. But still, he's got enough Lava Pups and some split off balloons left to take care of the rest of the space. So nice job, Navy. Next raid is going to be... Guys, let me check back on Zika's DM here. Uh, number 18... Here we go, okay. Fioto is attacking for this one, and we have got Queen Walk into Goboho, uh, I guess. I guess there's Bolas in the Clan Castle. Most of the time, with this uh, troop composition, you would have Bolas in the Clan Castle. So, yeah, let's see. We'll definitely find out here. Uh, the Queen is meant to walk from 12 o'clock uh, down towards uh, 9, of course. The Wizzy is setting a funnel, very cheap funnel here with only one wizard, so. That is definitely something you uh, want to avoid if you can in Town Hall 9 base building. Gets some nice value out of the Queen Walk by getting two Wizard Towers right away. He is not going to be able to reach the Expo, so the Expo is at some point probably going to switch onto the healers. But he should be okay, maybe only going to lose one healer. Clan Castle is the classical baby composition, two Valkyries, a baby dragon and a wizard. The wizard of course going to do absolutely nothing because the poison is going to take him out. Queen deciding to bust her way through the wall, so I guess the expo is not going to be skipped because the queen is going to break in there. That's pretty funny. Uh, anyways, we have got the golem coming in, taking out the Tesla over here that is of course meant to screw up your funnel. Still though, the golem should move inside because the wall breakers are cracking the wall right next to its face. Bolas are already doing work, they take out the archer tower over there. King, golem, bolas moving in. Very important of course to take out enemy queen here. But looks like uh, his uh, kill squad should be able to do that. Does not have a rage spell actually. I probably would advise to bring another rage spell and only one heal for 15 hawks. But he decided to go with two heal spells I guess. So that should also work out for him. Starts in with the hawks is probably going to have to use a heal spell very early here. Because of the teslas and wizzy towers and all that stuff. Still is holding on to both his heal spells. going to be interesting to see where he uses those. Uh, Bolas are doing work. Is he gonna swag both those heal spells, guys? He probably could. He's gonna use at least one of them, but he probably could have swagged both those heal spells. So, um, yeah, an overpowering attack here as well by Fioto. Very nicely done. Queen's still alive as well. She was sort of stuck on a wall there for the last 30 seconds. But, um, yeah, she's finally going to join the party and at least help out with some clean up swag heal in the back. Nicely done and also a poison. Great attack by Fioto. Next hit is on base 16, where we have Devonox 99 coming in with um, one healer, two golems. So I guess we're gonna see the Lava Hound trick. Yes, maybe. First, I was thinking healer on the golems, uh, but because that times sometimes can also work. But no, 
It is of course going to be the good old Lava Hound trick. Lava Hound is going to be out of the raid for the entire duration of this attack. Golem comes in, two Wizzies in behind, lots of storages over here, so the Wizzies have quite some work to do for the funneling. Uh, on the other side we also of course have a Golem with three Wizards behind it. Warbreak is looking nice because the Wizard Tower over there is being distracted by the Golem, so looking good. Wizzies have finally taken down both those storages. The Wizzies are actually going to turn around and try to take out that Arch Tower. That is not quite going to work, so the entire power of the Kill Squad is going to have to do that. Nice jump spell there as well. Looks like everything should go inside. Actually, a couple of bowlers are uh, threatening to stray for the king here. But they should actually turn. Yes, there we go. All the bowlers walking inside. So nice funnel by Nevinox. Definitely can learn from that, guys, if you are looking to set a funnel on difficult bases. Check out this attack. Pause it. Watch it again. Because the funneling was very, very good here. Interesting Tesla farm. You don't really want to have that right in the middle of the base. Because that can then easily get taken out by a kill squad. So yeah, in come a couple of balloons. So this is sort of a variation of uh, Logo Bowl with Stoned Hobo or Shattered Hobo, I guess. Um, because we have Hawks and Balloons for the back end. The double cannon did not stop the Queen. She is still alive. And he is nicely avoiding those spring traps so far. Triggered a couple of those, but he was able to drop his hop so that Hawks that, so that they took out the... The cannons before they uh, were tripping the spring traps. And then of course only air defenses and mortars left over there. Was not really a worry. Um, bowling down the sewer we caught Cat Clan Castle. That is going to do it for this one. Uh, Lava Hound did not pop for the entire raid. Well done Devonox. And with that guys we are on to Town Hall 10 action. We have got Xenok coming in. With Queen Charge Hawk. So this is a, pretty much a Queen Ho here. On base 12. And it is going to triple a Town Hall 10. So amazing stuff here. I believe this is the first Queen Ho that I have had on the channel yet. So uh, a huge shout out to Xenok for uh, making this happen. Very, very nice man. Very, very nice. I cannot wait to watch this one in its entire beauty. And see how it worked out. Of course guys I have not been able to watch this attack before. So uh, we are going to find out here together how this one worked looks like he used a giant and couple hawks on the back end there maybe to lure out the clan castle yes that was the goal goal is to kill the clan castle the the enemy lava hound here before queen gets closer to these two archer towers i i am assuming because those obviously put out a lot of damage poison spell is down for uh, the archer at uh, for the wizard of course the archer did got taken out by the queen before she locked onto hound as soon as the wizard is down, he's probably going to plop down another wizard to help out the queen. No. If a level 40 queen is able to make her way through the hound quick enough. Couple minions are going to support the healers though just so that they, they do not take too much damage. And yeah, the queen is now good to go. Take out the next uh, Tesla, Expo, all that good stuff. Of course a rage spell needed with so much point defense over here. King is tanking both the archer towers. So warbreakers can come in to open this section. He is going to be able to charge at least one Inferno Tower. Of course, he also needs to get Enemy Queen out of the way. King is going to pop... Uh, is he going to pop the King ability? Yes, he's going to pop King ability. Okay, there we go. King gets that gold storage out of the way. Then he's going to nicely swing towards the outside. Actually drag a couple healers with him. That is not ideal, but the Queen still has four healers on her. And then he comes in with a three-finger drop with all of his hoggies. Queen gets the Inferno Tower just in time, has popped the ability at this point. Still a Rage Bell left though for Queen, so she can still uh, survive. Of course though, only no, now the Inferno Tower has locked onto her. And uh, just a solitary Inferno Tower will not be able to kill a Queen. Hawks are still alive and doing well. They have now used the last uh, heal spell. There goes the Rage, there goes the Freeze. A lot of those Hawks taking a lot of damage. A lot of them actually died, but we still have a couple left alive. alive. Freeze on the Inferno Tower already uh, also got the Queen healed back up and now she is finally going to take it out. So very nice job here on the Queen home man. Xenok, big respect. Shout out to you. Uh, awesome, awesome hit. And a real pleasure to watch for sure. Uh, DLZ has been tripling with Mass Hawk like crazy as well. But not quite with, with Queen Ho yet. So I'm looking forward to uh, seeing that in the next couple of wars. Maybe our guys can adapt to that. But uh, yeah, awesome stuff. And then we have got a 72% 10 versus 11 2 star here, guys. This base uh, looking familiar to me. But maybe that is just because 
uh, we see a lot of bases with this type of layout uh, at this point in time. We have got Marius attacking for the Clash Warriors and Moose is on defense for Suomi Cockcat, of course. Uh, first, a couple of wizards are going to take out two buildings each, it looks like. Uh, an army camp and a gold mine, so a pretty good snipe there. Then we've got a couple of uh, archers as well. Working on some more army camps, so all the army camps getting taken out. That is a bummer for the defense, guys. <laughs> Not really, but uh, it's kind of funny. Um, Laboratory also getting taken out by an archer, so he's able to snipe off 8% here before he even does anything. Quad Quake, uh, aka the Eve check strategy, <laughs> um, is going to open up that wall there, and of course also the path uh, right towards the town hall. Uh, Coco Loon was able to take out the Black Bomb at 12 o'clock. I did not miss that, guys. And then the Queen Walk is going to come in. Uh, a Queen Charge, actually, to take out the Eagle Artillery. And of course... Also set the funnel for the gobo portion of this attack. Queen is going to step her way right into the space. Not even going to need a rage spell to take out the eagle artillery. We see a lot of very exposed eagle artilleries these days, guys. Um, it is... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm sort of torn on that. Uh, I don't think it is the most important defense to defend 10 versus 11. But still the extra damage that it does put out. It is pretty nice, but of course... Uh, yeah, we have seen a lot of bases with centralized eagle artilleries and town halls in the past as well. And that um, did not always work out either. So yeah, there we go. Queen takes out two Teslas as well. Still not used a spell on her yet. She's gotten 15-16% now without a spell. So um, yeah, pretty cool queen charge here. Uh, then we've got a golem finally coming in with some bowlers behind. And maybe a Rage spell as well. Yes, the Rage Gobo Funnel over at 9 o'clock, guys. is going to smash that entire corner over there. He's going to have to break the wall pretty soon to move into this base. First, though, his Rage Bowlers are going to bowl over the enemy queen. Level 45, don't hurt her, stay alive. She's going to go down and there comes the last golem or the second golem and the last golem as well. Poison spell down now, my friend, for the balloon. Yes, there we go. Perfect poison spell. Very nicely done by Marius. Very clean execution so far. I would like to shout that out. Um, very, very Looking very, very good here. In case you want to apply to DLZ, feel free to. No, guys, I'm just messing. Don't worry. Oh, there was actually a nice hole in the wall there. I did not even catch that. But still, his bowlers are going to be able to absolutely pummel down the town hall here. Queen still alive has now used her ability. But of course, we are already up to almost 70%. So very nice job by Marius. And uh, yeah, even a poison left in the bag. He's going to use it, actually. So yeah, there we go. Very nice hitman, 72%. That is definitely very commanding. And yeah, guys, that is the results. Let's check it out one more time. 82, 81, 92%, uh, even to 91.07. Uh, oops, guys, let's just pop back into that. Um, I was not quite done rambling. <laughs> and there we go. So yeah, looks like Suomi Kotka to start all the 11s, of course. But left quite a few tens on the board. Oh, by the way, also shout out to Scar and Jiza. A couple of my old buddies over here. And um, yeah, uh, Clash War is obviously able to triple one more tunnel 10 than Suomi Kotket did. And yeah, guys, that is going to do it for this recap now. Now I'm done rambling. <laughs> Thank you for watching, for tuning in. Definitely a lot of fun. And yeah, until the next video, I will see you all later. Peace out.